arrangement of the camps. Now the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, The sons of Israel shall camp, each by his own flag, with the banners of their father's households. They shall camp around the tent of meeting at a distance. Now those who camp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the flag of the camp of Judah, by their armies. And the leader of the sons of Judah, Nishan the son of Amnadab, and his army, their numbered men, 74,600. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar, and the leader of the sons of Issachar, Natanel the son of Zur, and his army, their numbered men, 54,400. Then follows the tribe of Zebulun, and the leader of the sons of Zebulun, Eliab the son of Halon, and his army, his numbered men, 57,400. The total of the numbered men of the camp of Judah, 186,400, by their armies. They shall set out first. On the south side shall be the flag of the camp of Reuben by their armies. And the leader of the sons of Reuben, Uzzah the son of Shida, and his army, their numbered men, 46,500. And those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. And the leader of the sons of Simeon, Shalumil the son of Zurashidai, and his army, their numbered men, 59,300. Then follows the tribe of Gad. And the leader of the sons of Gad, Eliazaph the son of Jul. And his army, their numbered men, 45,650. The total of the numbered men of the camp of Reuben, 151,450 by their armies. And they shall set out second. Then the tent of meeting shall set out with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. Just as they camp, so they shall set out every man in his place by their flags. On the west side shall be the flag of the camp of Ephraim by their armies. And the leader of the sons of Ephraim, Elisharma the son of Amhud, and his army, their numbered men, 40,500. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh, and the leader of the sons of Manasseh, Gamaliel the son of Pedazur, and his army, their numbered men, 32,200. Then follows the tribe of Benjamin, and the leader of the sons of Benjamin, Abidin the son of Gideoni, and his army, their numbered men, 35,400. The total of the numbered men of the camp of Ephraim, 108,100, by their armies. And they shall set out third. On the north side shall be the flag of the camp of Dan by their armies. And the leader of the sons of Dan, Ahiza the son of Amoshidai, and his army, their numbered men, 62,700. Those who camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher, and the leader of the sons of Asher, Pajil the son of Okran, and his army, their numbered men, 41,500. Then follows the tribe of Naphtali, and the leader of the sons of Naphtali, Ahur the son of Enon, and his army, their numbered men, 53,400. The total of the numbered men of the camp of Dan was 157,600. They shall set out last by their flags. These are the numbered men of the sons of Israel by their fathers' households. The total of the numbered men of the camps by their armies, 603,550. The Levites, however, were not counted among the sons of Israel, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. So the sons of Israel did all this. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so they camped by their flags, and so they set out, everyone by his family according to his father's household.